My stomach is not happy about oh, this. Sure. <laughs> oh, God. Hey guys, I'm Little Red, and welcome to this week's video. This week, I wanted to test out Hot Ones hot sauces. I love watching Hot Ones, and every time I watch it, I wonder, are those hot sauces really that hot? Can I actually do better than celebrities? Is it really difficult to answer questions while eating progressively hot hot wings? I don't know. We'll find out today. So, I have two guests on this video today. First is my fiance, Dane. Yay! And then second is my fiance's best friend, Rhett. Yay! So today, they will be asking me a series of questions since that's what happens on Hot Ones and we're recreating the experience. They will also be eating the wings with me. From here on out, I'll just be answering their questions and we'll see how hot these hot wings are. So, I will let y'all take it, gentlemen. So, Little Red, we should know, do you usually eat a lot of spicy food? Do you like the um, spicy or? I used to think ketchup was spicy a long time ago. Uh, oh, but man. Dane and I started dating, he basically said he does not care. So I have grown to <laughs> like spice. However, I'm still just learning the spice, becoming accustomed to spice. But I will make it to the end. I'm going to. So this one's the classic one. All right, cheers. 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 Little Red, mm -hmm. as an avid fan of the show Vampire Diaries, <laughs> We need you to settle something <laughs> once and for all. Okay. And by the way, this is canon. This is official, whatever your answer is. Yeah, this is official. By the powers that be. Stefan or Damien. It's not Damien, it's Damon. Damon. Uh -uh. Oh, sorry. I would choose Damon. But originally, I was a Stefan girl for the longest time. Okay. I love Stefan, I thought he was great, but actually, he, he's an unhealthy person and needs to figure himself out. And, at least Damon is a true bad boy. Uh, all right, so we eat the next one? Yep, which one's this one? Thai green chili. Mm -hmm. The first and that one were on par with each other. All right, so I know you did some cheerleading in high school. <laughs> You've been, been an avid dancer for a while now. An avid dancer? I need you to dance, or to rank some dance movies for me. Oh God, okay. All right, so we got Bring It On, Step up, center stage, and you got served. I've never seen you got served. Mm, that sounds like it's probably pretty well on the list. All right, you got served. What? All right. All right. Bring it on, number one. Death. Like. Okay. By far. Then step up because Channing Tatum is just really hot. And then. My priorities. <laughs> priorities. <laughs> And then, obviously, Center Stage. Center Stage is really good, though, and if you haven't seen my drunk movie review, you should watch it because I review Center Stage. So, now we're moving on to Feel the Burn. So, this is one that we made. Okay. It's like a mild. It um, has ranch in it. If you could talk to the creators of The Sims, <laughs> okay. what is a feature you'd get rid of and something you'd add to the game? Well, I know I would add to the game more like emotions for The Sims. Dan and I have talked about this. That's what it's missing right now. Is like really high impact relationships and like moodlets and stuff like that, which I know technically they have now, but it's not near as expansive as it could be. And in one of the older Sims, they let you choose the traits of like what you find attractive or what you mm. find unattractive. And that helped you know what relationships you wanted to be in. Now they don't do that. That would be the thing that I would add. The thing that I would take away is, I don't really need vampires in my game, honestly. Oh. I don't really play with the vampires. I think they just come in to ruin your gameplay, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised after the Vampire Diaries. No! <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Vampire lore is that you can, like, if you get invited in, the vampires can come in, right? Like, that's sure. that's sure. that's normal lore, right? In Sims, that's not how it works. Like, you they can't. Just they just intrude. They just say, like, hi, neighbor, you smell tasty. And then they just come into your house. Midnight B&E. Yes. Like, <laughs> that's literally how it works. 
And then, but if you want to like not have them come in, like discourage them, you have to get this like garlic infused mirror and then they never come and bug you. It's really stupid, but it's mm. fine. All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah, next. what's this one? Los Calientes. Ooh. This one on the show is number five though. So do you think we're actually doing more spicy ones than they do on the show? I think we'll find out. Los Calientes has the best flavor out of all of them so far. That is really good. It is good. So after going to some Halloween parties with you, Ooh. after living you, with you for a little bit, it's pretty <laughs> obvious that you're a Pokemon master. I am. Oh. I am a Pokemon master. If you could have any Pokemon in real life, what would it be? Man, that's hard. You'd be the only one with a Pokemon, so you'd automatically I'd be the only one, the like, best. nobody would have a Pokemon in my world. Like, no yeah, one ever you, had. You could have. Uh, I would want, like, will they evolve? Sure, if you if you want to. You, you know, They're all you standard sure. traits of a Pokemon. Standard traits. All, all things. But yeah. then how do they level up? If I don't fight it. You gotta go find a Thunderstone. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, the problems they compound. Choose wisely. <laughs> rare candy is real rare. <laughs> I know, I've never seen it. Yeah. I mean, my go to is always like Charizard. Like, Charizard, he's got the power, he's a dragon, and he can fly. I mean, like, and he, he's just, he's an original. He's like an OG. Yeah. But it's it's hard. It's really. He's got a tube. The flying is a good point. You could ride around with him. Yeah. Get places faster. You could I, feel like Daenerys from Game of Thrones. Yeah. I gotta take our bite here. So this is, one is. Is it one that we made also? I it is. So. It's just called sauce. Now we're reaching the halfway point in this uh, episode, and we thought take a little time to do something different. Uh, we did a deep dive on your social media images oh, no. in a section that is definitely not called Explain That. But we're going to share some photos with you and we'll show it uh, on full screen for the viewers mm -hmm. later. But if you would take a chance to go ahead and give us an, an explanation a little bit more about what was going on here. Oh man. Okay, so I was on a cruise and I think I was drunk in that picture, honestly. I was in high school. Uh, it was international waters, it was allowed. Sure. I could do whatever yeah. I wanted. Yeah, no one said it wasn't. But I think my step siblings got me drunk, if I'm remembering that one specifically. Got me drunk. Better watch out, snitches get stitches. Yeah. It's fine, nobody <laughs> I think everybody knows that they got me drunk on this cruise. We went to the, the fancy dinner. Like it was actually the night that you were supposed to get really dressed up and go to dinner. And so show up, and I think they had a clown or some sort of impersonator Justin thing. Is. But yeah, and they gave me that, and yes. And so it All was right. a good time. All right, next up, how about this one? That was also <laughs> a vacation from a cruise. I went on a lot of cruises as a child. I think that was in Senor Frogs in Cozumel. Okay. And my dad took that picture, so that's awkward. <laughs> Final image. Please tell us a little bit about what's going on here. <laughs> okay, that was my friend Jess's rehearsal dinner, and I was drunk. <laughs> it was a recurring theme of me being drunk though, doing stupid things. She had that pinata purse, and it was funny. And I, I mean, donkeys are called asses, right? And so I was trying to kiss the ass. Are we on this one? Yeah. Another homemade hot sauce. Okay. Well, this was the spiciest hard. of the ones we made. Mm -hmm. I actually think the one before it was spicier, like what we said it was supposed to be. All right. Obviously, being a redhead has been a big part of your life. What? You know, a little while. <laughs> Not when you were first born, but a little while after. No, yeah. I had an orange mohawk when I came out of the womb. Uh, Amazing. <laughs> yes, I think we should go back to that. Where's that photo? <laughs> you had to pick a different hair color. What color would you choose? Well, I've always said that if I start going gray, then I'll just dye my hair light brown. And so okay. I'd probably just go light brown. But if I was going to like go crazy, probably do blue just because blue is my favorite color. So. Wow. <laughs> All right, bold. You're way out there. Yeah. Like well, it. if I was choosing a crazy color, but if I was staying normal, because I've never done anything that my hair that would cut it. 
I feel like I'm like in a job interview. (laughs) If you want to hire someone, this is how y'all should do it, man. Like, if you want to know about a person. But so far, honestly, they haven't been that spicy. What do y'all think? No, but I think we're about to turn a corner now. (laughs) This is is where where it starts. Next we're up is Bravado Spice Company's Black Garlic Carolina Reaper Hot Sauce. I feel a little more, a little more heat? A little. Okay. It creeps, but it's not. Maybe it'll linger. So next up, we gotta know. As a blossoming YouTuber, <laughs> do you yes. have any funny stories to share about starting this new hobby, or maybe a lesson learned, a hard way, or just a fun like behind the scenes moment, something to share? I mean, there are so many times where I don't turn on my mic. Did I turn on my mic for this? <laughs> <laughs> God. The mic's on. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Mic is on. <laughs> the Taco Bell video. Oh, that there you one. Go. That's a good story. Dane had just gotten me my mic that I'm using. And, okay, it's getting hot. I thought it would be powered by my camera rather than externally through its own battery. And so I just like plugged it in willy nilly and then ate freaking eight tacos in a row <laughs> and <laughs> recorded myself with no volume whatsoever. Like breathing in makes it hotter. Um, but I'd say that was that was you know that was difficult. So if I had any advice for any up and coming YouTubers, turn on your mic. Make sure your mic is good to go. Are we on the next one? You ready for it? Ready. We like three more. Three more. What do we got up? Uh, got no name. We have Stargazer. Flavor's good. That's one thing. The flavor has been really good, even if it's super spicy. Mm-hmm. Can I see the water? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So a little birdie told me oh God. that you might like ranch. A <laughs> I love ranch. <laughs> ranch is the best. You like ranch a lot. Mm-hmm. What is something that you would not put ranch? Oh man. We were just having this conversation with your mom the other day. Because ranch is good on everything. I would not put ranch on watermelon. That's a good call. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's fair. I I wouldn't either. I don't think, I don't put salt on watermelon, so you know. Number nine. Number nine, we've got a Widowmaker by Dingo. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's got some meat. Mm Mm-hmm. How you feeling? No. All right. <laughs> she almost was able to say on it. This is hard. If you could go back and talk to yourself in January 2020, <laughs> I can't wait for the graphic to talk to <laughs> yourself, by the way. <laughs> How would you prepare yourself for this year? Yeah, I don't, I don't mind some water on that. Um, it's under my tongue. Mm-hmm. It stacks so poorly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yourself>. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> oh god. Mm-mm. If you could talk to yourself in January of this year. <laughs> What would you warn yourself about this year? You're going back to January. You're talking to yourself. Prepare yourself for the year. Don't bother purchasing wedding invitations. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be postponed. That's it? That's what I would say. Oh god. I'm shaking. Mm. Only one to go. Just hold it and just I was doing that. It doesn't stop. <laughs> you have one way to go. You said you wouldn't quit. Mm-hmm. My stomach is not happy about oh, this. Sir. No. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I like to see, Red. So you've been living in San Antonio for a few years now. Yeah, like 20, 10. No, 10 years, not 20 years. 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> yeah. I believe 
that you should be a margarita expert. I am. You I am. are. I'm glad. I'm glad. So I want you to think about how you would make the perfect margarita as we take this slide. Oh, I can't breathe. Just think about it. This is hard. Maybe I'm a little judgy person. <laughs> it's not that hard. They don't know what they're doing. They're just weak. No, I, I did better than most of them up until now. I'm shaking. <laughs> Wait. A little bit of last dab on it. I just did that, so. As much or as little as you want. Or not. Yeah, it's good judgment. Okay. Cheers, friends. Rub the dab. No! <laughs> Oh god, why are y'all standing? Take a bite. Oh, I'm gonna clear this out of the way. Yeah. You are a margarita master? Definitely. Have you ever had a margarita? <laughs> That's not your last question, don't worry. So you're gonna make us... Oh, why are you? The perfect margarita. I was wondering what you were doing. It's what you do, is if you have strength, you open it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna die. So good margarita is all about the tequila. If you didn't know. <laughs> Just a little blop, blop, blop. <laughs> it's all about the tequila. And so, if you don't have good tequila, then you're wrong. I'm gonna take some lime. It's not even just in my mouth, it's in my stomach. My stomach is like... I'll help you out. How many lines are you putting in here? It's that many. Alright, now we're gonna put some simple syrup. I'm assuming this is simple syrup. It is indeed. I'm all up. You got it. Is that all the ingredients? No, no, no. Just a cake cheek. <laughs> that almost burns my stomach at this point. Okay. My teeth hurt. How did your teeth hurt? I feel like chewing. I thought I saw some of my gums. It's an interesting feeling, I bet. I don't even, my tummy, man. Well, here you are, a little red. No, I have chicken, to try the Chicken wings up. Chicken <laughs> yeah, wings down. Oh, wow, that was just Settled at the top. That was not the right <laughs> It was not good. It could use some more tequila. Oh! <laughs> My God. <laughs> I'm not thinking straight, man. All right, well, guys. You did it. You did made you? it to the end. You did it. Man, that was painful. I will never do this again. Thanks for hanging out with me and doing this. Hope we all had fun. <laughs> <laughs> so to everyone out there, if you ever watch Hot Ones thinking that you could go through this, sure, go for it. Just don't think you're going to do that well because <laughs> I thought I did it. I didn't. I can't talk. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to watch more videos of me, go ahead and click that like button down below. <laughs> <laughs> That's the honesty. The honesty. Click the button. Bring that down. Subscribe if you like. I don't have a Patreon. Just, just check it out. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Bye guys! Bye bye!